Praise the Lord and good evening. Good evening. It is so awesome to be with you on tonight. Listen, I am excited about this word that the Lord gave me actually a couple of days ago. If many of you that follow me on Facebook or any of my social media outlets, I posted cover me while I'm reloading. I posted cover me. I'm reloading. And a lot of people took it a lot of different ways. Some people thought, oh, Lord, something wrong. Some people was like, I got you, sis. But that's not what it meant. It was just that me and my brother had, we had a conversation. He heard a dialogue on, I think he said Instagram. He said, and as the people was um, talking through what they thought it meant, he said he knew right then and there, oh, my sister got this. My sister got this. And I always tease him. I said, Titus, you always tell me this. it's for me to teach. How you know it ain't for you to teach? But he said, no, this got you written all over. I know you're going to break it down like a fraction. I know you're going to give it to the people of God. And so after he shared it with me, I began to think about it. And I said, cover me. I'm reloading. Cover me. I'm reloading. And I began to think that even in marriage, in ministry, in friendships, we all get to a place where we need to refresh. We need to refuel. When you're at that place, watch this. You are very vulnerable. You are very vulnerable when you are at a place of needing refreshing, when you are at a place of needing refueling, when you are at a place of, you know what, I just need to fall back for a minute. When you are at that place, you are vulnerable. My question to you tonight, who's covering you? Who, God? Who is covering you? And I I know how to get out the gate already. (laughs) Listen, who is covering me when I go shut in and I pray? And my guard is down and I'm not watching and, and I'm, I'm out and, and I'm, I'm in the room and I'm praying by myself and I'm trying to pray myself through and re-strengthen myself and get myself together and get prepared for another level and get prepared for another dimension. Who's covering me when I'm doing that? All right. In a marriage, who's covering you when you're going through? Who's covering the, the, the when, when the husband is weak? Is the wife covering him or are you nagging? Uh Oh, when the wife is weak, when the wife is going through, when she is sick, is the husband encouraging her or is he nagging friendships? I'm going to deal with it on every angle. So y'all don't have to think, oh, she throwing off. I ain't throwing off on nobody. I'm just giving you this word to help you to prepare, to help you to be ready, to help you to be able to cover and to help you to know when you're being covered properly. Okay, somebody just go ahead and drop in the chat. Cover me while I'm reloading. Cover me while I am reloading. Listen, if you have not tagged, if you have not shared this with someone, I need you to do that tonight. I need you to do it right now. Why? Because as we ever elevate in God, as we grow in mission, as we go and grow in our friendships, grow in relationships, grow in God, there is going to be a time you got to reload. What do, what does that mean when you say reload? I need to refresh. I need to get by myself because I've been pouring out. Okay. <laughs> I've been pouring out to everybody else. And guess what? I ain't, I ain't been poured into properly. I've been giving and giving and giving. And I, I, I need refreshing myself. I done gave all this out. Now I got to steal away. But who going to cover me when I do that? All right. All right. Those of you that is, that is in ministry, I won't talk about you. I just talk about my own self. Everybody, well, not everybody, but my team knows at the Friday nights, Number one, I'm not going to sleep that night because I'm, I'm still going. I'm going and going, going for hours. It may be one, two, three o'clock before I even go to sleep. That next day, that Saturday is normally when I say, okay, now. And everything come down and I, I basically just crash and I'm gone. Sometimes that happens on Saturday um, about 11 o'clock after I, got, after I got about two hours of sleep from Friday night. Then I go eat something. And normally after I eat, that's when I just... I'm sleeping like it's nighttime. I'm going to sleep for hours. Then I'm going to wake up long enough to eat again and I'm going to go back to sleep. So I'm just because watching because I have poured out everything. And my prayer is always my prayer is always with every sold out, with every worship and warfare, whenever I minister. God, I want to leave it. I want to pour everything you got in me out on these people. God, I want to I don't want to leave nothing on the table. God, everything you giving me for to give these people, I got to give it to them. So if, if you ever come to my service, you see the prayer line is long, but you're going to see me minister to each and every person because that's what I'm called to do. So I pour it all out. But when Friday night come, the service is over, lights, camera, action, everything is off. Who covering me? Oh, God. Oh, God. Listen, this is why it, it, it is very, 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 very. Very important if you're in ministry, if you're in marriage, 
that you have to have the proper people covering you. Watch this. Who's going to cover me when I'm reloading? When I don't pour it, I, watch this. I have poured everything I got out. So what does that leave, Dr. Three? I'm depleted. So my team knows, oh, we got to pray her through tonight. Watch this. So, and, and, and what I love about God is I don't disclose to everybody who my team is. Oh, God. Watch this. You never disclose. Oh, God. This, this right here is something God gave me straight himself. Did nobody have to teach me this one. He said, be careful who you know. Be careful who you allow to know who's covering you. Oh, God. He said, because, because Satan is very tricky. Watch this. So I have a team of people that when I go down, when, when I'm done ministering on Friday night or whenever I minister, they know we got to cover her now. We got to cover her in prayer. We got to cover her in, in, for the next couple of days because we know she's depleted. God got to fill her back up. My question to you, do you know who you got covering you? Oh, God, do you know? Listen, watch this. This is going to bless y'all tonight because this is very important because, because a lot of us will, are, are going to get elevated spiritually. And, and watch, watch this. Before you get elevated, there is always a time of testing. During your test, who's covering you? Who, God? I'm going to deal with this tonight. When I'm being tried, who's covering me? Cover me. I'm reloading. Go ahead and drop that in the chat. Cover me. I'm reloading. Cover me. I'm refreshing. Cover me. I'm refueling. Co watch, well, watch this. Because if I need to reload, if I need to refresh, that means I have been depleted. I'm at a vulnerable state. Are you covering me? Oh, God, you can't cover me and talk about me. You can't cover me and lie on me. You can't. OK, let me get into the text. So, 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 so what, what, what God gave me after me and my brother was talking and I began to give him when we begin to talk about. I said, oh, I, said, I already know what scripture I'm going to preach. I said, I already know what scripture go with that. I said, I got a scripture for that. And so after I got through with him, he said, see, I got to go. He said, I can't fool with you. So he got off the phone and I sat there a minute and I said, uh -uh. and I said, God, is something else to this. It's something else to this. It's something else to this. And then as soon as I was saying, God, is something else to this, Whitney called me, my soldier. She said, hey, Ma, what you doing? I said, that's it. She said, oh, Lord, what is it, Ma? And I said, Whitney, tell me this. I said, when y'all, I said, I know you, I said, I know you army, army vet, army, you know, and, and you just all army strong and all that hoorah. And she was like, yeah, my, yeah. So we were laughing about that. And then she said, I said, but Whitney, tell me this. I noticed when I'm with you, when you were, when you were active military and you would be out and I, we, we, we would, we would approach people that would just salute you. She said, yeah, that's you. She said, that's, you have to do that. She said, you have to do that. When you see each other, you salute, you know, you, she said, oh no. She said, that that's an automatic. You have to. I said, okay. I said, so I remember you telling me this thing about battle buddies. She said, Mom, what do you mean? I said, tell me about your battle buddy. She said, oh, you never leave a soldier behind. <laughs> oh, God. You never leave your battle buddy uncovered. Oh, God. Drop in that chat. Who is your battle buddy? Watch. She said, she should be getting tips. She said, Mom, you never leave your battle buddy behind. She said, I don't care what, she said, I don't care what type of war we in, what type of combat we in, what type of training we in, you got to cover your battle, but oh God, help me today. You got to cover your battle, buddy. So then she began to tip, watch it, and I, I took notes on this. So then she began to tip, she said, mama, don't you know? She said, even when we, she said, even when we, when we do training for active war, that it is a certain way we got to line up. I said, in war? She said, yeah, she said, she said this is in the training. Watch this, watch this. She said, she says, she says, she says, in battle, we protect each other by what is called volley, this is volley fire, V-O-L-L-E, V-O-L-L-E-Y, volley fire. Watch this. She said, mama, it's a military tactic. She said, you would never, she said, you looking at us, she said, if you were looking at, at soldiers in war, she said, you would never even pay this any attention. She said, it's a, she said, it's a tactic that we, we are taught. Watch this. She says, we line up when you're going in battle. It's always rows. It's a formation. It, it's, a, it's a formation to this thing. This, this, oh, this bless me. She said, it's a formation. She said, she said, it's a formation. So you have front row. You have row one, row two, row three, row four, lining up, going straight across like this, right? She said, so the first thing that you do, she said, the people on the front line, listen to this. Oh, God. The people that's on the front line, they, they, they weapons are already loaded. Watch this. So they shoot till they run out. 
Oh God is good. Oh God, I love you. I love you. I love you. So they shoot until they uh, until they bullets run out. Then they step back and the people behind them step in front and watch and cover them while they reload. Oh God, watch this. And so the formation keeps happening. You keep falling back. The other person come in front, you reload. Then you fall back. She said you just keep doing it. So that way, while your person is reloading, your, your battle buddy is reloading, you step up in front and you cover them. Oh God. She said, but the, she said, but the thing about it, mom, she said, we all got the same objective. We going after the enemy. Oh God. Listen, listen, listen. And this thing blessed me. I kept saying, I had her to tell me this thing about four times. I said, Whitney, wait, 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 wait. She said, she said, Ma, it happened simultaneously. She said, at the enemy forces on command, known as firing volley. Watch this. It's called firing volley. It's followed by more lines of soldiers repeating the same maneuver, taking turns. So they all lined up. Listen. First row, shoot, step back, reload. Second row, step in front of them. Shoot, step back, reload. Third row, and they just keep doing it. Who do you have covering you? Oh, God. Why are you reloading? Is my question tonight. Check your camp. Are you covering me while I'm reloading? Because if I fire first, I'm on the front line. And this is what I tell my team. I say, I'm on the front line. I say, y'all can say what you want. But Dr. Three got to go out there and lay hands. Y'all can say what you want. But Dr. Three got to pray and make sure that this word is on point when she got out there. I just need to know y'all got my back. Oh, God. I just need to know because I'm going to shoot first. When I reload, can I, can I trust y'all to cover me? Oh, God. Who am I talking to tonight? Who am I talking to tonight? Listen, if this is what you say, this is for me. This is for me because I need to check. How, and I'm telling you how you can check. Watch their attitude. As long as you're on the front line, now, yeah, girl, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I when I take a when I take a step back to reload, what y'all doing then? Oh God, when I take a step back to refresh, what you doing then? Listen, when I'm going through, what you doing then? Cause you ain't manning me long as I'm on the front line, long as I got long as I got these bullets and I'm still shooting. But when I re, when I need to reload, where you at? Oh God, I feel like I done got out the gate so fast tonight. Listen, listen, let me keep going. So my daughter, she, she explained that to me. And I said, oh, man, I said, that'll preach. She said, yes, she said, we're always covering each other. She said, even when we're in training, you never leave a battle buddy behind. Oh, God, listen, you never leave your buddy behind. You never leave them in uncovered. Watch this, watch it. So, so I said, OK, God, OK, God, I got it. It said, in other words, you cover your battle buddy while they reload. Nothing is wrong. They are just reloading their weapon. Oh God, listen, I'm gonna say that one more time. Because this is where we this is where we we mess up. When I say I need I gotta step away, I gotta fall back, I gotta refuel. The flesh of uh, the flesh of people or the world will say, Oh, child, I told you they going through. That mean I'm going through. I need to refresh. I ain't got nothing to say right now because I'm letting God pour into me. And see, so people confuse that when you, they don't know if you're reloading or if you're going through. Don't mistake. Oh, I hear you, Holy Ghost. Don't mistake someone's reloading for them going through. Oh, God, help me. I don't know who that's for, but you on here tonight. They're mistaking your the fact that you need to reload is that you going through. Oh, baby, I ain't going through. I'm reloading because when I come back, oh, God. And watch this. Every time you come back after you reload, you come back with more power. Woo. Listen, drop in that chat. I'm coming back with more power. I'm coming back with more power. I'm just taking time to reload. I'm just taking time to refresh. Why? Because I don't pour out everything I got. Right now, I need to be refreshed. Who am I talking to? Let me, let, let me keep going. Watch this. So, so it says, nothing is wrong. They are just reloading their weapon. They are refreshing. They are refueling for the battle which is ahead. Oh, God. I'm refueling. I'm refreshing so I can keep running. I'm refueling, I'm refueling, I'm refreshing so I can keep fighting. I'm refueling, I'm refreshing so I can keep doing the work of the Lord. Listen, nothing wrong with me. Just cover me, cover me while I reload. Watch this, Matthew 26, Matthew 26, Matthew 26, verses 36 through 46. Watch this, watch this. This is the scripture that God gave me when me and my brother was talking about this. Then Jesus went with the disciples to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to them, sit here, <laughs> oh God, sit here while I go over there and pray. He took Peter and two sons of Zebedee along with him. 
and he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, my soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here. Ah, oh, God. Stay here and keep watch with me. Listen. Going a little further, he fell on his he fell with his face to the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, take this cup from me. Yet not my will, but your will be done. Then he turned, then he returned to the disciples and found them sleeping. Oh God, couldn't you men keep watch with me for one hour? He asked Peter. Peter couldn't cover him. Well, what is Jesus saying? Couldn't you cover me? <laughs> oh God, Why, let me keep going. Verse 41. Then he says again. Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Second time, he went away, verse 42. He went away a second time and prayed, my father, if it is not possible for the cup to be taken away, uh, but to be taken away unless I drink it, may your will be done. Verse 43, when he came back the second time, he found them sleeping because their eyes were heavy. Verse 44, so he left them and went away again the third time and prayed, saying the same thing. Verse 45, he returned to the disciples and said to them, are you still sleeping? Oh, God, listen, are you still sleeping and resting? He said, look, the sun, the hour has come and the son of man is delivered into the hands of the sinners. Get up now. Let's go. Here comes my betrayer. Ooh, listen, three, and I, you know what? I've read the Bible from cover to cover over and over many, many, many times. I, it didn't dawn on me or it didn't resonate with me that three times he came and asked them, y'all couldn't stay awake and cover me? Oh God, y'all couldn't cover me while I went to pray? Y'all couldn't cover to me, cover me while I went to refuel for my father? Three times. First time I go, I come back, I wake y'all up. Second time I go, I come back, I wake y'all up. Third time I go back and I go pray and I come back and I just say, you know what, y'all just let's go because now the enemy is coming. Woo, God today. Listen, watch this. Watch this. You have to realize Jesus is in the Garden of Gethsemane. This is east of the Temple Mount area in Jerusalem. It's surrounded by, I've taught this many times before, it's surrounded by the ancient olive trees. Listen, Gethsemane means the olive press. It was there that Jesus gave up his will and he took on the will of his father. It was there that he, that listen, it was there that he, that it said he prayed and he prayed until his sweat turned to drops of blood. And when he, oh, help me, Holy Ghost. And when he came to his disciples and he, they didn't even bother to wipe the sweat. They were so tired. They were not covering him. Oh, God, they couldn't even get up long enough to wipe the sweat off his brow. Oh, God, they were not covering him. Mm, 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 mm. Could you just imagine how Jesus felt about to die for y'all? And y'all can't even cover me while I go pray? Oh, God, three times. And y'all can't cover me? Watch this, watch this. Then he says, so he's surrounded by these, these olive trees where the, it is known that you are going to a place called Gethsemane, which is called the olive press. It was prophetic symbolism because the son of God would be crushed just like the olive. My God, today, watch this. He began to be sorrowful and deeply distressed. Jesus was disturbed in part from knowing what was ahead. So listen, listen. Okay, okay, Holy Spirit, I hear you. So when God, so because you are close to the father, okay, watch this. Who God, I love you tonight. Because you are close to the father, because you are in communion, because you fast, because you pray, God will oftentimes tell you, don't take ease in Zion, something coming. You better get on your guard, something coming. You better start praying, something's coming. Watch this. This is what, Je because Jesus knew the will of his father, he knew what was ahead. So he said, I got to go pray first. Oh, oh, God, who am I talking to? I just need somebody to cover me while I, while I make 100% sure that I'm in the will of the Father. Can I get somebody to cover me? Who oh, God, while I'm laying on my face travailing. Can I get somebody to cover me while I'm fasting? Can I get somebody to cover me while I'm going through? Jesus went three times. 
his disciples were not covering him. They were asleep. Watch this. Jesus said, my soul is exceedingly sor sorrowful, even unto death. But more so, Jesus was distressed at the spiritual horror which was awaiting him on the cross. Jesus went to his death knowing that it was his father's will, that he faced death completely alone. Who God? I'm going to say that one more time. When Jesus went to the Garden of Gethsemane to pray, to make sure 100% that, that daddy, this is what you want me to do. I, I got to be 100% sure. Oh God, I love you. I got to be 100% sure that this is what you want me to do. And when he got the okay, and then not only did he get the okay, but he knew, oh, and you're going by yourself. Oh God, for those of you that think I can't do it if I don't have a team, I can't do it if I don't have this person. Myself. Jesus, you're going to do this by yourself. Oh God, I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to leave that alone tonight. Watch this. Let, let, me, let me keep going. Then he goes and he says, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. Jesus came to the point of decision in the Garden of Gethsemane. He made a decision. Not what I want, but it's what you want. You want me to walk this road and die on this cross alone? So be it. I was born for one reason. I was born to die. Oh, God, who am I talking to? He was born to die. But these disciples that you gave me, these disciples that you assigned to me, they can't even stay woke and cover me. The spirit was willing, but this flesh going to let you down every time. The spirit was willing, but the flesh was weak. Watch, let me keep going. Let me keep going. So he then he came to his disciples and he found them asleep. And he said, Peter, could you not watch with me for one hour? Jesus valued and desired the help of his friends in the battle of prayer and decision. But even without their help, watch this. I'm, I'm going to show you this. I hear your Holy Spirit. Jesus valued, listen to this. He valued and desired help from for his friendship, from his friends, his inner circle, his boys. I want y'all to go to battle with me. I want y'all to pray with me. Watch this. But even without their help, I'm going to still pray through. Even if y'all can't even watch while I pray, I'm still going to pray through. Even if y'all ain't going to hold me up and cover me, I'm still going to pray. Who am I talking to? Well, I just give up because I ain't got the right help. I ain't got the people. Jesus. Even with those that were assigned to him, they couldn't watch. Judas going to betray him. He already knew all that. But I still got to be about my father's business. Listen, watch this. Then he says, he says, but even without their help, he endured in prayer until the battle was won. But not only did they not help him, they wounded him. Listen to this. Listen to this. Not only did they not cover him. Watch this. I'm, I'm show you this. Not only did they not cover him, they wounded him, which means they hurt him. Here, they hurt him by their dullness on duty. Oh, God. Because there was no... There, there, there was no passion. We got to cover him. There was no willingness. We got to cover him. There was no, they, 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 they were just dull when it came to it. Like, whatever. I'm tired. We've been walking forever. I'm tired. There was no, there was no urgency. That, that's, thank you, Holy Spirit. There was no urgency about the matter. Watch this. Because if, if God ever assigned you to something, preachers, intercessors, prophets, all these people have all these des des um, desires to lead, not only in ministry, but even in the marketplace. Listen, if God ever makes you a leader over anything and you have people, you have a team and, and you're going to you're going to come to a point. Watch this. You're going to come to a point where you're going to wonder, are they even as passionate about this as I am? Or am I, don't, am I in this by myself? Am I, I, God, I know you gave it to me, but. But, but I know you say that, that these people that you assigned to be on my team, that they're going to be partakers of this fruit too. So are they not passionate about what you're going to do, not only in me, but in them? Are they not only passionate about because you're going to use us to bless the kingdom? Listen, that, that hurt. When you see they just, um, yeah, it's Friday night. Let's go on over here and see what's going to happen tonight. Or are they just as on fire as the leader? This is what Jesus is talking about. He watches. He says it, it, it hurt him. Because it said it hurt, he was hurt, he was wounded by their dullness unto duty. 
Watch, that's what I said earlier. Instead of wiping off the bloody sweat, they drew more out of him. Instead of you saying, instead of them saying, Jesus, okay, you know, let me get, let me at least wipe his sweat. They drew more out of him. They, they hurt him even more because they, he saw, they don't even care. They just chilling. They just like, whatever. And Jesus sitting there like, y'all do know I'm about to go die. <laughs> y'all do know I'm about to go die for, for, for y'all sins. And y'all sleeping? Who God, who am I talking to? They could not even cover him for an hour. Watch this. Be careful how you respond when you should be covering someone. Watch this. Be careful how you should respond when you should be covering. And instead of covering, you start sharing what you're going through. Who God? Lord have mercy. Instead of covering, soon as you get around them, instead of saying, what you need? How can I pray? What, what, you know what you're going through? Let me, do I need to pray? You just going to download all your mess. And they already in, in a place. Oh, God, who am I talking to tonight? They're already in a place. You have to be careful when you're supposed to be covering somebody. And you giving them, you just dumping all your stuff on them. And you don't even know where they at right now. And I'm going to give you a tip of wisdom. It's always good to say, you know, well, how you doing? Even if you know I really need to talk to them. I really got a lot I need to, 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 to share with them. You might want to, this is just wisdom. This is just a, a nugget of wisdom. Always ask them, well, you know what, how you doing? How your day going? Because it's, I'm going to tell you, it's, it's a bad thing. You, hello, girl, let me tell you what happened today. You just be like, who, especially if it's a day when you already had a rough day, when you need to be covered yourself. Oh God, I need to be covered myself. And here y'all come, here, here they come with all this. And this is what Jesus was at. He was at a point. I need to be covered. And when I come out, instead of y'all, I know y'all on y'all face praying for me, praying me through, y'all sleeping. And not only that, but I'm sweating as, as, as drops of blood. And ain't nobody wipe my sweat. Who God, you got to be careful. You got to be careful. You got to be careful. Watch this. Even, even in marriages, even in marriages, you walk in the front door. Soon as they, soon as your, your spouse walk in the door. I'm glad you're home because I've been dealing with it and they look at you like, huh? You ain't even thought to ask them, well, how was your day? Did you have a good day? You, did you even let them get, get, get good in the house? Did you even let them eat first, put down their bags before you start unloading all your mess on them? Listen, God has already told me he's, he's, been, he's been downloading me with, with so much strategic, strategic um, um, things in my personal life. I need you to stop doing this. I need you on this day right here. We ain't taking no phone calls. On this day right here, we ain't doing no Facebook. We ain't doing no social media. We ain't talking to nobody. I need you to shut it all down. Very strategic. Because he, he has, when I tell you my life, I am at the most satisfied state I ever been in my whole 49 years of living. And I'm, I'm just saying because it's only by God's grace and mercy. It's only by his hand. And I'm going to tell you why I know I'm at this place. Because I have been so, my, 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 my desire is to please him. My desire is to do it his way. My desire is to get what I want out the way. And I'm seeking his will in every area of my life. God, do you want me, deal, do you want me dealing with this person? Do you want me with this ministry? Do you want me to go over there and preach? Do you want me to speak to this person? God, what you want me to do? Because I want to be in your divine will. I don't want to be all over the place doing a whole bunch of busy work, but ain't none of it effective. Who am I talking to? I, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so particular, even about who I take phone calls from. I'm so particular about a, a whole lot of things right now. So people say, well, you, you, no, you used to, I, I used to do a whole lot of things. Guess what? I ain't used to doing, I'm not doing that no more. That ain't working for me right now. That ain't, we, we ain't carrying that over in 2023. A whole lot of stuff. I, I stopped before, to, I, I've already stopped. I'm not waiting to 2023 get here. Watch this. And so because God began to tell me, he said, you're not going, he said, you're not going to be their dumping ground. You're not going to be a person where they dump everything they got on you and, and they dump it because once, if you, if you live a life, if you're, if you're an intercessor, I just say that if you're an intercessor, if somebody tell you, girl, I'm going through your first, your, your first reaction is I got to pray them through. I got to pray them through. I got to pray. And now you have taken on that weight. Watch this. So God began to tell me, I need you to be strategic. I even asked my, men, my mentees, I said, and it wasn't me being funny. 
It wasn't me being being rude. I was doing what, what daddy told me to do. He said, did you look at that list? He said, did you deal with that? He said, you got to make sure they're still on track. You got to make sure they even want you to be their mentor. He said, because, because I need you to make space and I need you to make room because I'm sending some more. It's, it's people that's been asking me to mentor them for years. And I'm like, no, nah, it ain't time yet. It ain't, I don't know when, I don't know when. And what God began to tell me, he said, though, he said, because I don't want you pouring oil and wasting the oil. He said, I don't want you pouring and pouring into people that don't appreciate it. Who am I talking to? And some of you on here tonight, you got to understand, you can't keep giving and you got to learn the power of no. Oh boy. Oh Lord. You got to learn the power of no. You ain't got to make up no lie. Just no, I ain't coming. No, I ain't coming. You busy? Nope. But I ain't coming. You gonna have to learn the power of saying no because you just said yes to so many things, and that's why you stretch and you stretch and you can't do no more, and you're stressed out and you're mad and you're angry at the kids, the cat, the dog because you keep telling people yes when you need to tell them no. Watch this, because all these people you giving these yes to wouldn't give you three wouldn't give you three yeses. Let the tables turn, oh God. Let the tables turn, and you will see. I'm going to leave. Let me get back to this. Watch this. Let, let me go. Watch and pray. At least you enter into temptation. Jesus knew that Peter was going to fail. That's why he made that statement. He encouraged him to victory, knowing that the resources were found in watching and praying. Watch this. If Peter woke up, listen, Jesus tell Peter, the one that he said, oh, you're going to betray me three times before the cock crow. He said, if Peter would have woke up when Jesus made this statement, watch and pray, Peter. Least you fall into temptation. If Peter would have listened then, listen, both physically and spiritually, and drew close in dependence on God, he might have he might not have denied him. Woo, God today. He told Peter, he said, watch and pray, least you enter into temptation. He didn't say it to all of them, he said that directly to Peter. Oh God, oh God. And Peter still didn't listen. He went back to sleep. Who am I talking? Listen, tonight I need you to wake up. Oh God, drop in that chat. I got to wake up. I got to watch and pray. Oh God, listen, listen. Jesus found victory at the cross by succeeding in the struggle in, in Gethsemane. Watch this. The spiritual battle is often won or lost before the crisis ever come. I'm going to say that one more time. The spiritual battle is often won or lost before the crisis ever come. In Gethsemane is where he won. Not my will, but your will be done. Yep, I'm going to go to the cross. Yep, they're going to crucify me. Yep, they're going to nail me. They're going to put nails in my hand, my feet, and thorns on my, on my head. They're going to think they won. I'm going to die, but I'm going to be risen. Because in the Garden of Gethsemane, I made a decision. Who God, who am I talking to tonight? Your battle is won before the crisis comes. Ooh, God today. I'll drop that in the chat. My battle is won in prayer before the crisis ever come. Who's going to cover you while you in prayer? Ooh, God. L listen, listen, let me, let me keep going. He went away and prayed. No, no, no. So he said the victory is off. The battle is often won or lost before the crisis come. Speaking kindly to his disciples, Jesus said, the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Listen, he could have found an excuse for their neglect. Even if it, I don't ask y'all to watch while I pray several times, y'all not doing it. He could have went all the way off. He kindly said to them, y'all spirit is indeed willing. It's your flesh. Now, God, it's your flesh that is weak. How they would blame themselves afterwards for missing the last. Oh, listen to this. The guilt came after. Watch this. How they would blame themselves afterwards for missing the last opportunity of watching with their wrestling Lord. Mm. I'm going to say it. Think about it. The last thing he asked me to do was cover him. Woo God. The last thing he asked me to do was cover him. And I couldn't even do it. Who, God, who am I talking to? Who, God? because I'm going to tell you something. You're going to have to answer. Listen, 
If God has ever told you to cover your spouse, cover your daughters, cover your children, co cover your, your pastors, cover your leaders, cover whoever, and God, you're going to have to answer for, did you cover them effectively? Oh, God. Did you pray them through? Oh, God, did you cover them when you knew they were going through? Did you just say, you know what, today, I'm just going to fast for my leader. I don't even know if they're going through. I, it don't matter. I'm just going to fast that they be strengthened in every area of their life. Have you done that? Oh, God, listen, let me, let me keep going. It says, it says, he went away and he prayed. He came and he found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. That is, they could not keep them open. The flesh, the flesh, watch this. He prayed the third time saying the same words. Listen, and then he says, he came back, he found him asleep again. He says, rise up, let us be going. See, listen, see my betrayer is at hand. Ah, oh God, he went to, oh God, he went to the garden of Gethsemane, the place of crushing, where he decided I'm going to take on the will of my father, not my will, but your will be done. I already know Peter going to deny me, Judas going to, Judas is going to betray me. I already know all that. But God, if you want me to do it, I'm going to do it anyway. But can y'all just watch while I pray? No, they couldn't. So, okay, God, I know you I know you gave me these boys. They can't even watch while I pray. They can't even, they can't cover me. So what you want me to do? God said, you're going along. Oh, God, help me. He said, I'm going to strengthen you. You're going to go along. Watch this. So he says to them, rise, let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. Jesus knew Judas. And those who would arrest him were on the way. When he came out of, what did I say? What did I say? When I say, cover me while I reload, when I come out of reloading, oh, I'm coming out ready. I'm coming out ready to war. I'm coming out ready for battle. Jesus came out after he reloaded, knowing my betrayer's on the way. Let's go. I'm not running. Oh, God. This remind y'all those of you that was that sold out. This remind you of David. I'm not running from my enemy. I'm running towards them. Ha! Oh, God. What did I tell y'all about David? He ran towards Goliath. Oh, God. Jesus, get up. Let us go. Jesus rose. It said he, Jesus rose to go meet Judas, not run from him. After I reload, I come back ready. After I reload, I come back ready for battle. After I reload, I come back refreshed, refood, and ready for the warfare that's ahead of me. Okay, 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 okay. Drop in that chat. I'm coming back ready. I'm coming back ready. I'm coming back ready. Ready? Watch this. Let me keep going. How do you cover someone? How do you cover someone? Watch this. I love this scripture. And I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Yeah, I'm about 40 minutes in. Psalm 91 and 4 says, he will cover you with his feathers and under his wings. You will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. Watch this. He will cover you with his feathers. Listen. The psalmist is using a metaphor of a bird and his mother. God is, God is the protective mother who feeds, nurtures, and protects his young. The image is meant to invoke safety. Listen to this. Safety, warmth, safety and warmth when we dwell in God. When you cover someone, they should feel safe. Ah, oh God. When you cover someone, they should feel safe. Watch this. When you are being covered by someone you trust, when you are being covered by someone you trust, you are not afraid. Watch this. You are not afraid of the outside noise. You are not afraid of what others may do. You are not afraid of what others may say because you know for sure that that person got me. Who got? I got one on my team. I got, I got a deacon on my team, Deacon Allison. I tell him all the time, I said, let me tell you something. Because he was one of the first people that knew about sold out. Listen, and, and, and I told him, I said, Deacon Allison, um, this is what God gave me. He said, sis, I'm with you. He said, whatever you, well, he said, I got you. I got you. And when he said it, watch this, something hit my spirit. And so I went, we, had, we were talking in the park a lot one day. This was before sold out was ever even, and he, he, he came, they brought me a gift or something was back to school. So it had to be like uh, August, a couple of years ago, not, not this year. So I'm talking like a couple of years ago. And I was sharing with him what God gave me about sold out. And when I went and I went back in my classroom, I said, mm, he said, he got me. And God began to tell me, he said, he's going, he said, he's going to protect you. 
He said, long as he, long as you see him, he said, he's going to be the one going to keep you safe. He's going to keep you and those women safe. You and the team safe. Because he said, you're going to start out with a bunch of women. I'm going to send them in. But right now, as long as you see him, he's going to be my, he's going to be, he's going to be the, 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 the confirmation to let you know you're protected. Who God, listen. And, and so every time I see, when I come out, I ask my girl, I say, y'all see Deacon Allison? They say, yes, all right. Y'all see Deacon Allison? They say, yeah, I say, all right. That, 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 that's, that's all I need to know. I said, because I know ain't nothing about to jump off. Ain't nobody about to do nothing. I can tell you, if he see me go like this and I say, I know he's going to fix the heat. I ain't got to, we don't even have to communicate like this. He got me. I feel safe. What does it say? Uh, uh, it says, this Psalms, he said, he will cover you with his feathers, meaning protection. Watch this. And under his wings, you will find refuge. There is nowhere safer to be than in the arms of the father. To come under his wings to find refuge would mean looking to him in prayer, looking to his word to see how to live and then living out the commandments. When you are being covered, you know that that person is praying for you. You don't even question it. Who am I talking to? It's certain people I already know. I ain't got to ask them. They, Could you cover me in prayer? I, it's certain people. Listen, that I don't even have to say that. You already know. They don't have to tell me, oh, I'm praying for you. I, I, I know that. I already know. Watch this. It says, when you are being covered, you know that that person is praying for you, not against you. Oh, God. You know that they want your best. You know, ain't no jealousy there. You know, it ain't no, well, I'm praying that she get, that her service go good. Her look, and watch, and, and this is the thing I love. When you, you have to watch what people say. You have to watch, because God has given me an ear. I can, people, My team will tell you, when I tell you, God has given me an ear to pick up the, you could say one, you could give me 30 sentences about how great I am. You use one word in there that, that don't sit with my spirit. I'm like, they ain't mean none of that. I'm not telling you how you know I said, because when they said this, they got to this word right here. That discredited everything they said. So watch this. When people say, yeah, I'm praying for your little ministry. My look, what's little? What's little? You praying for my little, my little ministry, my little service. But what that's supposed to mean? No, you ain't praying for me. You ain't praying for me. You ain't praying for me. And so these, you, I'm telling y'all tonight, listen to this. Watch what people say. It's, it's going to show you if they're really covering you or not. I'm praying for your little service that you're going to have tonight. Well, who having a little service tonight? Who having a service? I don't have service. I have encounters. Who are you talking to? My, my little ministry, my ministry international. What are you talking about? So you have to check people. Watch what they say. You'll know, you will know. God will reveal to you who is really covering you. Listen, watch this. So watch this. They will be praying for you, not against you. You will feel safe with these people. Watch this. And he says his faithfulness will be, his faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. Faithfulness means that whatever he promises, he does. Only faithful people can cover you effectively. Oh God. If they, if they, oh, I'm going to say this. Only faithful people can cover you effectively. Watch this. You can't cover me and talk about me. You can't cover me because I'm going to take, oh God. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go there. You can't say you, you covering me and then talk about me. You can't say, oh, yeah, 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 we love we love you, we love you. And then you walk in the room and everybody looking like, oh, God, here she come. You can't say you're covering somebody and you're not, and you're not, you're not faithful to the ministry that's on their life. You're not faithful to them as a husband. You're not faithful to them to a wife. If you're faithful, listen, how are you covering your spouse if you're not even faithful? Woo, God. How are you covering your kids and you don't really believe the absolute best for their life? Okay. How are you covering your business partner when you don't even believe the, the mission of the business? Of the business? Oh, God. How can you cover your business partner when you're taking, when you're taking strategies to another business? Oh, God. How can you? Okay, I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone tonight. Listen, listen, listen. I'm, I'm, I'm almost done. I am actually almost done. Listen to this. Watch this. Watch this. To cover effectively... You will be willing, watch this, to cover effectively, you have to be willing to be on the front line for that person. Oh, God. 
Are you willing to be on the front line for that person? Listen, check who on your team. Check who on your team. Watch this. Are they front line people? If they're prone to talk about you, watch this. If they're prone to talk about you, or if you can't trust them 100%, those aren't the ones you need covering you. Watch this. Check your connections before the year ends. Watch this. God begin to tell me this. He says, he says, daughter, he said, I'm going to show you who's on your team. I'm like, yeah, you get, you, you, you know, you assign certain ones to me. I get it. I know they for a season, a reason, and some for a lifetime. He said, I'm going to show you something. He said, they don't have for a season, a reason, a lifetime. He said, I'm going to show you where they are right now. And I showed, I shared this with one, one, with one of my mentees. I said, listen, I said, God, I said, this one going to leave. This one going to leave. This is going to start acting funny. And I just went down the list. And she was like, huh? I said, watch. It happened just like God showed it to me. And it wasn't that they was all outside doing all this crazy. They were doing it. It's just that they their, their focus shifted. So when, it, when, when, when your focus shifts, then just shift and move out the way. Watch this. But my thing is this. Either you're with me or you're not. Either you're going to cover me or you're not. Listen, it, it, it's just really simple. But my thing is, but those of us that have families, we have children, we have marriages, we have ministries, we have businesses. You got to check who on your team. When you need to reload, are they going to cover you? Or when you reload, are they else trying to do the same thing? Listen, because if, if, if while I'm reloading and just because you ain't seen me on Facebook, you ain't seen me have service, you ain't seen, I, I don't went, as, 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 my, as the young people say, I don't went ghost for about two months. All of a sudden, when I come back, you do it. You don't start doing the exact same thing I was doing. I'll be looking like, oh, oh, so you weren't covering me. What you were doing, you said, I'm just going to go in and do what she did. And, and it, the, the, the funny thing about it, someone posted it last week. And I thought I said, Lord, if that girl ain't speaking truth, I said, the thing about what, what, what people don't get, you will be dying, wanting so bad to, to, to walk in the role or to walk in the office or to do what somebody else doing. And I would guarantee you nine times out of 10, they don't even want to do it. Listen, be careful. I'm, I'm in 2023. Here we go. In 2023, be careful what you ask for. <laughs> in 2023, be careful what you covet. Oh, who am I talking to? In 2023, I want to do that like her. Oh, you see that car he driving? I, I want a car like that. Be careful what you ask for. 2023, I, I keep telling y'all and I keep... I, I, it's been confirmed. I keep. I, I. I don't know no other way to say it. Yes, you, there, there are going to be many blessings. That's just what God do. He take care of His own. But at the same time, understand this: He ain't playing. He's not winking at these sins no more. And if you read in the Bible, it talks about that. Maybe that's something I need to teach. It talks about that. That He's not going to keep winking at these sins that we're doing. Listen. So He says that in 2023, you got to be be about my business. Yes, I'm going to bless. He said, some of y'all going to be blessed more than you ever had. Because I'm, I'm sitting back like, God, I don't know what you're going to do next, but I'm here for it. Because because listen, I, when, when I tell you I'm living in the overflow, and I'm not saying that the bright, I'm just telling you. I was telling my mentees, I said, you cannot, I said, I'm going to tell you, I honest to God, believe I'm his favorite. I said, I just believe it. I said, do I go through? Absolutely. Do I have trials? Absolutely. I said, but my God delivered me out of every one of them and put me right back on top. I said, he never lost a beat. I said, me and my daughters have never been without. I said, we are living our absolute best life. I said, we are living in the overflow. I said, God is true to his word. I said, but he is not playing in this season. He's not playing. Listen, if you want to sow, the, the information is on the bottom of the screen. Um, you, you, you sow it into absolute fertile soil, absolute good ground. Listen, I love you. I love you. I love you. I hope you have tagged. I hope you have shared this with someone. We will be back on here. Um, I don't know for sure because I'll be traveling. So I'm not sure if I'll be on here next Monday night or not. But just watch my page. If I'm coming live, I'll send a little blurb out. You'll know I'll be live. So, but the next episode is the 100th episode. I'm going to do some giveaways. I just, I just want to do something special for the people of God. I'm going to do some giveaways 
on um, what, whenever I do the 100th episode. I am excited about everything God is doing in your life in this season. Listen, if you want to sow, the information is at the bottom of the screen. I love you. I love you. I love you. There's absolutely nothing you can do about it. I love you and God bless you.